The following video is geared towards a general audience. It can be enjoyed by both children and adults alike. I am not happy at all with the way Mattel has been horribly mistreating Thomas the Tank Engine this year. It's bad enough they disassociated themselves from the very community that watches Thomas's show and buys his merchandise, or that they disrespected Britt Allcroft's wishes to keep the spirit of the classic series alive by blocking uploads of classic Thomas and Shining Time Station episodes from YouTube. But just when they seem to have made a good decision last year by reintroducing the Thomas Wooden Railway line after the disaster that was Thomas Wood, the only new model they've released for it this year is the Day Out with Thomas model, and it's August as of this video. If I were running the Thomas Wooden Railway line, I'd have had new models of characters like Duck, Donald, Douglas, Oliver, and Toad released months ago. I feel Thomas can only improve in quality if another company acquires the license, and I also feel that Orbrium can be that company. Not only do they make their products specifically with Thomas Wooden Railway in mind, but they released several promising new products this year. New unpainted engines for the fans to customize as they please, train sets involving a medieval castle and a national park with a spiral mountain, and the subject of this video, the railway track maintenance crew. Here is the front of the box, and here is the back. Once I get this unboxed, I can talk about all its various features. One unboxing later. So here's the Orbrium track maintenance crew out of the box. It comes with one diesel engine, one crane, one track inspection vehicle, three well wagons, and four pieces of track with magnets on top, two of which are track adapters. The well wagons are designed to hold two pieces of track each, or one track inspection vehicle. The crane has a flexible arm, its body can rotate 360 degrees, and it has a magnet at the end of its arm so that it can carry a piece of track or the track inspection car. After the new tracks are laid out, the track inspection car can be used to check for breaches in the tracks. Now it's time to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Orbrium crane and several cranes from the Thomas Wooden Railway line, including the Breakdown Train, Harvey the Crane Engine, and Rocky the Crane, which were respectively introduced in 1995, 2002, and 2007. The Orbrium crane is of a similar shape and length to Rocky. However, while the Orbrium crane has its magnet attached to the end of its crane arm, Rocky's magnet is attached to a string. Also, while the Orbrium crane has a more flexible crane arm and its body can rotate at 360 degrees, Rocky's body can only rotate at 90. Also, Rocky comes with two flatbeds so engines can push and pull him easier. Both Harvey and the Breakdown Train are shorter than the Orbrium Crane. But like the Orbrium Crane, Harvey's magnet is connected to the end of his crane arm and can rotate at 360 degrees. The Breakdown Train's magnet is connected to a string like Rocky and it comes with a flatbed that its magnet can connect to. Also, like the Orbrium Crane, its body can rotate at 360 degrees. Strangely, the magnetic polarity of the diesel engine is the opposite of that of Thomas Wooden Railway. I'm unsure if this was intentional or a factory error, considering that past Orbrium engines have had no trouble coupling up the same way as Thomas Wooden Railway. The Orbrium Track Maintenance Crew is available for purchase on Amazon.com and it will cost around 23 US dollars. The pros of this pack are its crane with flexible arm and 360 degree rotating body, well wagons, magnetic track, and track inspection vehicle. However, I do have to take some points off since its diesel engine's magnetic polarity 
is the opposite of that of Thomas Wooden Railway. Still, the good outweighs the bad, and if you're looking for a track maintenance crew for your Wooden Railway collection, I highly recommend it. Before I end this video, I recommend signing the following petitions in the links below if you haven't already to help get Thomas back on the right track. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Flying Duckman Genesis, out.